Hello and welcome, welcome to another Tarot of the Week. We're using the Gilded Tarot um, for this particular one and we've got the King of Pentacles. He was again in the reverse position, really interesting. And the Pentacles are to do with our financial needs, our wants, our desires, our hopes. But it is that really practical stuff of how do we support ourselves as well as how we earn our living. So in this position, it could be that you find yourself where you're overburdened by debt. And of course, we're in a period of time where financial well-being is quite difficult. We are all under the pump or we're quite stressed about how we can support ourselves with the cost of living and interest rates, everything that's going around globally. It's not just a personal thing, it's a global thing. But we need to, to look at the card in detail, so I'll turn it into the upright position. And here we have the king, he's sitting with his power rod in his hand and he has his crown on and we have the pentacle at the back. And this is someone who has wielded his power to get what he wants. He has exerted his personality. He has um, been driven to achieve the very best. But we find him sitting in his throne. So is he taking a step back or is he actually allowing other people to create his wealth for him? Has he forgotten what it's like to be at the coal face. There's lots of growth in this card, lots of green energy, but we have this sort of darkness at the top of the card. And one of the things about the king, about the royals in particular, is they could be quite an indulgent um, group of people. And the king of pentacles, I would say, would be the most indulgent in terms of the... He wants a life of luxury. He wants to live in the lap of luxury. And it's like he's almost forgotten the cost of what that would do to gain a life of luxury or to have a life of luxury. So do we overburden ourselves with debt to achieve a life of luxury? Is it worth it? And we have to think about that. We strive to buy things or to accumulate things, but do we get the pleasure from those things? Are we feeling the benefit? Or when we get that thing, do we then want more? So we have to be really careful when it comes to our finances because they're not, you know, infinite. They are finite so they don't go on and on and on. They, you know, you have a limited amount of carefree spend, if you will, or investment. So you need to make sure that what you're investing in is going to fit the bill and not just add to another debt that you have to pay or another thing that you've achieved, but it's not really what you want. You have to be really, really careful. And I feel with the changes coming up, around our financial situation, we have to be really aware that we are not cutting our nose to spite our face. You know, that we are being genuinely open and honest with ourselves as to what we do need and we're not going to get ourselves into trouble. So it's really, really interesting, this card. We have to really look at it at a personal level. We're coming up for Christmas, so maybe now is the time to take stock. Do you need to change some habits around Christmas time? Do we need to be overly indulgent? Um, or can we just be a bit more frugal and think about what we're investing our money in on behalf of other people? You know, do we need to be occurring lots of debt ourselves to satisfy other people's needs? These are all really interesting questions. Have a think. Have a think about what is happening in your life. So it's a good card. It's a really interesting card. And it's time to, we're asked to take a little step back and just think about what is happening in our lives and how can we achieve the best? How can we achieve the best without 
I suppose, impoverishing ourselves at the other end. So we have to have a balance. We have to have a bit of balance financially going on there. An interesting card. Interesting. So until the next time, we'll see you next week with another Tarot of the Week. Until then, bye for now.